That is all I'm going to say about that. Uh, 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 so dramatic. Did this stop filming? I was getting sort of this like clear fluid first. That sounds disgusting. Rephrase. I keep looking at the fly on my window. Uh, oh my god. Uh, anything else? Oh, oh! Hi everyone! You might remember from my Ulta haul recently that I got the Too Faced Beauty Blogger Darling set. And this just comes with the Shadow Insurance Better Than Sex Mascara Primed and Poreless Primer and the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So these are four of their most popular products, and I thought I would do a review of this little kit for you guys while it's still available. I'm going to start with the Shadow Insurance because I already had a full-size tube of this that I've been using for at least a year to a year and a half by now. Compared to the full-size tube, the sample size is fairly comparable. It is just a little bit narrower and a bit shorter. I think this is a good eyelid primer, but there are a couple of downsides to this product. When I first opened the full-size tube of this product, I noticed that I needed a little bit of mixing or shaking because I was getting a clear water-like fluid out of it before the actual product. But once I got past that phase, it was totally fine. I haven't had any problems with that since. Another downside to this is that it is quite thin, so it doesn't have a lot of coverage on the lid. So if you're looking for something that will cover up any veins, discoloration, or even just something that will brighten up your eyeshadows that you put on afterwards, this is probably not the best primer for you. However, since it is so thin and light, it looks and feels really natural on the lid. And I also like to use this underneath my under eye concealer as well. So the bottom line is, if you're looking for an eyeshadow primer that just makes your eyeshadow last longer and prevents creasing, and you're not really looking for something that has a lot of pigmentation, then this is a really, really good primer to try out. So now onto the Primed and Poreless Face Primer. So it's actually the same amount of product as is as is in the shadow insurance, even though the tubes are different sizes. This primer is a skin smoothing face primer, and it says use alone for the look of flawless skin or under bronzer and makeup for a perfect finish. But I don't see it doing a ton on my pores just by itself. However, the main reason I have been really enjoying this product is that my skin's texture is very uneven. And so this does an amazing job just making a nice smooth canvas for my, for my makeup to go over. I am having some struggles today. I've been wearing this primer underneath both lighter foundations and BB creams as well as fuller coverage foundations and I think that it makes any type of foundation look better and go on smoother. I can't really say anything about the longevity of the makeup with this primer and without the primer. It's kind of difficult to test without putting it on half my face and not the other, but if something goes really wrong, I would look like a crazy person at work, so I haven't done a full test or a side-by-side -side comparison with this yet, but I like to think that it makes my makeup last a little longer. I feel like everyone has been talking about this over the past couple months on YouTube, and I have to say, I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this mascara. I think it is comparable to the uh, Benefit Their Real Mascara in how much it really lengthens the lashes and gives a lot of volume and just generally makes it look like you have more lashes than you do. My only problem with this mascara is the brush is just so big. As you can see, it's like the width of the opening of the tube. I've been having trouble not getting this just all over my face when I use it. It's definitely not a kind of swipe and go mascara. This one requires a little more time if you have it, which oftentimes I don't have. The curve in the middle of the brush is a little bit of an issue. I know that they were going for the sort of like sexy hourglass shape. So what's happening when I'm using it at least is that my lashes are getting product on on the ends, but not in the middle. So as you can probably tell, that make that leaves a gap in the middle where you're not getting a lot of product until you keep moving the brush around. But the brush is just so big that I, I get a lot of clumps with this. So, I don't know, I love the formula of the mascara, I'm not in love with the brush. So I don't hate this mascara, I don't love this mascara, I like it, I think once I get to know the brush better, it will become something I really enjoy, but I don't think that I could justify spending over $20, $25 on a full size of this tube. I'm about to become the most hated person on YouTube. 
Please don't leave hate comments over my dislove of this mascara. And finally, I'm saving the best for last with the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is another one of those products, obviously, that the beauty bloggers rave about, and with good reason. If you saw my Ulta haul, you'll remember I was a bit skeptical about this bronzer because I could not get it to swatch on my hand for you guys. But all you need to do with your brush is just tap it in and it just, it magically just works on my face. I don't know why it doesn't swatch, but this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer for contouring. I've been using it on my cheekbones, the sides of the nose, and the temples every single day since I got this and it is so nice. It also smells like chocolate, so you can't really go wrong with that either. You will definitely be seeing it in my favorites in, oh geez, about a week now? Oh man. Back to reality. Alright, so those are the four products you get in this kit, and all four of those products are $20. I'll have a lot more details about the prices of the full-size items compared to the sample sizes, etc, etc, on my blog, so check in the down bar for a link to my blog post, or just go to brokeforbeauty.com and you will find it there. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and let me know if you are going to try out this kit as well. Now it's time for my itty bitty products to say goodbye until next time. Thank you so much for watching and see you again soon. Bye.